Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about a one more programming Python that is magic number. Magic number. So how, what is this magic number and how we can find this magic number? So in the previous session, we have seen the program for super digit. So the super digit means, so recursively finding the sum of all the individual digits until you get the sum as a single digit. For example, if the number is, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so then we need to find the sum for this one, sum of n, let it be x is equal to 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, 5. So which is nothing but 3 plus 3, 6, 10 and 15. So x is 15. So here x is uh, greater than 10 that means it is not a single digit number so once again we have to apply the sum of x which is nothing but y is equal to 1 plus 5 which is a 6 so here the y is the single digit number right so this is called as a super digit this is called as a super digit so we have explained all these things in the previous session right but here it is related to the word magic number if if this sum if this sum is equal to 1 then we call that number as a magic number if the sum is equal to 1 then we call it as a magic number right so the same process here also in order in, in magic number also we have to find the sum of individual digits recursively until we get the sum as a single digit and if the sum is 1 we, we can consider it as a magic number right so example example so let us take uh, this one so 1 2 3 and 4 so what is the result here the result will be 10 right here the result is 10 so now again so this is a two digit number again we need to apply the sum so 1 plus 0 so which is nothing but 1 1 so final sum is 1 so this is a individual digit right single digit so that we call it as a magic number so 1 1 2 3 4 is a magic number magic number so i will give one more example so if you consider if you consider 5 32 532 now you have to apply the sum sum of n which is nothing but 5 plus 3 plus 2 which is nothing but 10 and again this is a two digit number again we need to apply the sum so sum is equal to 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 so here if you get the sum as an individual digit that means a single digit and it is 1 we can say this as a magic number right so hope you understood about this uh, magic number so we'll implement the same in the python programming hello friends so just now we have seen the logic for finding the magic number so recursively we have to sum the individual digits of a number until the sum becomes a single digit and if that sum the final sum is equal to one then we can say it as a magic number so first let us take one number n is equal to int of input enter number so we, we need to find this number n and i will take one temporary variable uh, x is equal to n and to re recursively call this one right so uh, <coughs> we have to repeat this one until the sum is greater than or equal to 10 so whenever the sum is greater than or equal to 10 we need to repeat the same process that is we have to find the sum of individual digits so while x greater than 0 we need to first we need to find the remainder so r is equal to some x uh, mod 10 and we need to add that to the sum sum is equal to sum plus remainder and we need to reduce the number so x is equal to x uh, floor division of 10 right and finally the x will the sum will be taken as x for the next iteration so because 
we have to repeat the same process until the final sum is less than 10 right so whenever this true this uh, condition becomes true again we need to repeat the same process that means we need to uh, add the number of digits right and finally if the sum the single digit sum is equal to 1 we can simply say that it's a magic number it's a magic number so n is a magic number and in the false condition simply we can print it as not a magic number is not a magic number right so if you execute this one i will give one two three four so you can observe one two three four that means one plus two plus three plus four which is equal to uh, ten again it is a two digit number so again we need to repeat the same process until we get the sum in a single digit okay less than 10 so 1 1 10 and we need to again repeat the same process in, uh, and we have to add 1 and 0 the result is 1 so 1 2 3 4 will be the magic number right and one more example if you execute this one and uh, let us take 12 so what is the sum of uh, digits here 1 plus 2 it is 3 so the sum if the sum final sum is equal to 1 then only we can call it as a magic number right so 1 and 12 we are giving 12 so 1 plus 2 it is 3 so it will not be the magic number and similarly 5 2 3 sorry 4 2 3 5 2 3 so 5 plus 2 plus 3 that means uh, 7 plus 3 10 again 1 plus 0 1 so 523 is a magic number right so hope you understood this one so we need to find the sum of digits recursively so until we get the sum in a single digit okay so this process we call it as a magic number so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one uh, finding the magic number feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.